Shielding New Zealand from the fast spreading Omicron variant of COVID-19 has delayed the phased reopening of our borders uh, to the end of fe uh, February 2022. That was supposed to be January 17 where double vaxxed people could come into New Zealand and just isolate at home for seven days. But now they'll be hitting the MIQ lottery, the dreaded hit and miss MIQ lottery. And the cherry on top is that government agency MB cancelled the last round of that uh, MIQ lottery for this year. So they'll have to try again next month if they want to get in at the start of 2022. Uh, another change is pre-departure tests to enter New Zealand will now be reduced from 72 hours before travel to 48 hours uh, before travel. This is obviously affecting travel plans. What uh, has the reaction been? Obviously this was a crushing blow uh, to Kiwis over the ditch, particularly those stranded and desperately trying to come home to reunite with family or to move home uh, or to see uh, family members they haven't seen in such a long time. And right after the announcement, uh, Air New Zealand cancelled around 120 flights. Those were mainly quarantine free flights across the ditch, uh, affecting around 27,000 customers uh, and they did acknowledge that they know that there would be some upset people and said sorry to those who won't be seeing their family across the ditch uh, as soon as they may have thought. But quarantine rules, they've changed as well. That's right. Uh, at the moment, uh, people returning from overseas have to stay in MIQ for seven days, followed by a three-day stint isolating at home. Well, from tomorrow at 11.59pm, that's changing. That'll be lengthened to a 10-day stay. And the government maintains without uh, doing this and without keeping MIQ this strong, Omicron would be in the community because, of course, it's not yet in the community in New Zealand. And our Christmas plans would be under threat which they aren't so they're trying to keep it that way.